what's good youtube it's your boy justice falls we back at again another video and today as you can see the saga continues i was able to get my hands on an xbox series x now before we get into it you already know the vibe check out the lot check out the website www.justicefalls.com has all my latest and greatest content and my music which should be playing right now in the background and uh, anyway let's get to the unboxing so uh, I was able to get this at retail from Best Buy. It was 326 because I live in New York and uh, state tax is ridiculous. So um, that's how much I paid for this. So off the rip, like I can tell, it's already like way smaller than the uh, than the Xbox Series X, which I did an unboxing of. I'll put a card up there somewhere for it. Um, I'm just hype I was able to get one. Honestly, I didn't need one because obviously I have the X, but I wanted this one because, you know, you know, first world problems, you know, I, I, <laughs> I wanted to have the luxury of having an extra Xbox in, you know, in my bedroom because usually I set up all of my entertainment stuff in the living room. So, you know, first world problems. Uh, beautiful presentation, just like the regular, uh, regular xbox um it has extra cushions in here to make sure that it doesn't fall and then we have the controllers what i'm assuming in a power cable wrapped neatly in here so we're gonna take that stuff out first um here goes the power supply and here go the uh hdmi cable now as i said before when you get these new consoles or you get any new devices and it comes with an hdmi cable use the hdmi cable it came with because nine times out of ten Unless you just bought it from from uh, Best Buy or electronic any other electronic store, the USB that comes with these devices are gonna be more compatible and more up to date than the USB you've been using since Xbox 360. Okay, uh, you wanna you wanna get these these consoles? They're expensive, you know. You spend a lot of money on these things, so you wanna make sure you get the most bang for your buck. So I would strongly suggest using the wire that came with it. You know what I mean? Instead of using the one you had lying around for years. And as you replace these devices, you can, you know, you can put the old one in storage or you can um, just throw it away. Just simply throw it away. Or give it away. I wouldn't say throw it away because you can always give it to somebody in need that need it more than you do. This is the uh, product and regulatory guy with the little warranty. You already know the vibe on that. Um, and this is gonna be a controller, obviously. The, uh, next gen Xbox controller in white. I don't have one of these. I have two black ones, but let's see how the white one looks and feels. Batteries in this bag. Okay. I like how they, you know, they offset it with the um with the black sticks and the buttons. Has the same grip. Uh, I did a controller review as well. You guys can check out my controller review. I'm gonna put a card up there for that as well. Um, my controller comparison, I compared the controller to the last gen Xbox, I compared it, and I compared it to the PS5 controller. Um, yeah. This is, this is, this is a sturdy one right here. We got a sturdy one right here. Alright, so. Next, we gonna get to the granddaddy of them all. The reason why you clicked on this video, the reason why you're still watching this video, if you're watching it up until this point, we have the Xbox Series S, and this thing is really tiny. This thing is like a little, little cute little lunchbox. You hear? It? Like, I like this. This is cool. Um, Xbox Series S. You see, we have the exhaust here, just in case you want to um, lay it on its side. And then we have the exhaust here, just in case you have it standing up or however orientation you want it. And then we have the intake down here at the at the at the bottom, and the intake at the intake at here for when it's standing. This is a dope little 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 piece of piece of work. And then on the back you have the two USBs. You have the Ethernet, two USBs. You have the extort extort the expansion bay, and then you have the HDMI out. So, um, a lot of people have been saying that the storage device the the memory card that you can get the seagate drive which i bought for my uh xbox 
Series X is not worth the value because it costs damn near the price of the console. And you know what, they're right, but at the same time, like if you have the money, if you have it like that, which is kind of why I bought this, not to not to brag, but if you kind of got it like that, then just get it. Well, and if you don't, just use your old just use your old hard drive and hook it into here. But just know you can't play games off of these. If you hook it up to the HDMI cable, you can only play game play games at the full fidelity if you're playing it off the drive. So it's like you gotta pay to play, you know. And when it comes to this industry, you know, it sucks. But you know, we've we've spent over the years collect. We've all spent in the tens of thousands, you know, of dollars. So what's another two hundred? You know what I'm feeling? You know you feel me? Like between all the games we bought, all of the systems that we bought, all the controllers that we bought, all of the DLC we paid for, you spent over ten thousand dollars in your life. If you're like if you consider yourself a gamer, you spent at least five to ten thousand dollars in your life on consoles and stuff. So what's another two hundred and twenty something dollars? Right? That's how I look at it, you know. Um and then I'm pretty sure this is a code. I can't give you all this code, I'm gonna give it to somebody, give it to one of my friends. Oh no, I told you how to set it up. So just in case for some reason <laughs> you don't know how to set this thing up, it, it'll 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 show you right here. And then on the front, I didn't even show you how the front, the front, this is how you connect the controller. This is the main USB port where you would most likely charge your controller. And then on button, which is actually a button. I thought it was gonna be like a uh like the uh, Xbox Elite where you just tap it, but it is actually a button, which is cool. And uh, that's about it, y'all. Like, I can't wait to hook it up, set it up, see how it looks, um, see how it plays, like, see if it's quiet or not. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this, y'all. So, yeah, um, look out for more videos for for my Xbox Series X analysis. Look out for a comparison video because I've had the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X since April. Then I got this. Just now in June, so I'm gonna give it a few months, get my get my feet wet, play a few games, and I'm gonna do a big comparison version. I might even get a, pl a PlayStation um, digital, a digital, you know, if, if you know if if those things come on the market and if I have the money at the time. So yeah, so be on the lookout for those videos. So you guys already know the vibes, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. And this is your boy Justice Falls, and we out one.